Well, one interesting thing about basing these discoveries in Ohio, we're at the edge of many of the ranges of southern, northern, midwestern, and eastern trees. And I came to this uh, Christmas Rocks Nature Preserve today with the intention of filming and recording Virginia Pine, which I knew was here from previous hikes. Well, about a half mile below that Jacob's Ladder Overlook, I'm hiking down the hill, and there's this massive pine tree with bark that doesn't resemble any of the pines I have filmed. And having studied the range maps of the native pines to Ohio and Kentucky and the Ohio Valley and Appalachians, somebody drew the range map right into this area for shortleaf pine. And I had never found it, or at least I'd walked by it and not realized it. Well, what I have here is a very large pine tree. Two feet in diameter. The pitch pines normally don't get this big. The Virginia pines never get this big. The white pines do, but the bark is much different. And this particular pine tree, which is common to the southern states, get my dollar bill back in here for scale, there we go. Common to the southern states, ends right in Fairfield County, Ohio, where I'm hiking today. That's what the range map shows. Shows it stopping right here. Took a short pause there. We had a hiker coming down the trail. And I uh, expressed to him that I found a new tree for the channel today. And I think we might have a new subscriber too. So I just explained to him what's going on with that. But this is the uh, the bark of the shortleaf pine. It has these big blocks on it. They're at least the size of that dollar bill, if not larger. They got obvious cracks between them. I guess from a distance it could resemble the Table Mountain Pine, but the cracks are more obvious. And the fact that the range maps do not show Table Mountain Pine in this area, but they do show shortleaf pine in this area, makes me fairly confident that's what I found. I spent a fair amount of time studying the photos of shortleaf pine, and it is a straight tall tree, as tall as the white pines. And it's a southern tree where it's very common and used for lumber. But this is the farthest north it comes in Ohio, and it did show up on my range map. And what proved to me that it was a shortleaf pine was the needles are in twos, not in threes, but they're much longer than the other trees that are in twos. They are three to two and a half to three and a half inches long, about the same length as the pitch pine. And the cones are about the same size as those pitch pine and Virginia pine cones. And you know what? If I'd known I was going to find this a half hour later, I would have saved those. But I left them where I found them. I don't have them here for comparison. But what makes it so much different than the pitch pine and Virginia pine is the fact that we only have, we have long, long needles that are in twos. The pitch pines always have threes. And they're about the same length as these shortleaf pines. And shortleaf doesn't mean they're short leaves. It means they're shorter than other pine trees that grow in the southern states. And we're in the northern states here where things are a little different. So here's our, our chance to start learning shortleaf pine. And I'll be on the lookout for it as I do my travels in Kentucky and Tennessee and West Virginia where it does show up on the range maps. I've probably hiked by it before and didn't even realize it, but I think what we got here is the fifth pine that I was trying to add to this channel. The maps all show five pines in the area I'm trying to cover and concentrate on. So I believe I have found number five, and um, we'll do more with this when the next opportunity comes along.